Welcome back, Telf Later crew. Uh, Danny here, Danny's son. Um, today we're shooting some more creations from the mad scientist, Evan Perry. Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Telf Later Mouse. We have another creation by the legend, Evan Perry. This design he calls the Dark Crystal. And this may be the pinkest projectile we've ever shot. The Dark Crystal has an acrylic nose and a wooden base and they're just screwed together. But it does have a couple metal threaded inserts in there to add to the weight. And speaking of weight, they are very lightweight, coming in at about 10.3 grams, or about uh, just a little more than one third of an ounce. You can see that Evan added a little wasp wasted area in the center there sometimes referred to as the Whitcomb area rule or simply area rule. And this is something you see on aircraft design normally, but it does help with supersonic stability of even a finless slug. Now these have been loaded into a federal target load with fast burning powder. And then at the last minute, I added these really uh, kind of short Sabo rings to give support to the nose. But we'll test one without it just to give you an idea what that looks like. Now the nose of these are faceted, but they're not real symmetrical. That might give us some weird flights. I'm also concerned whether or not the wood can even survive the shock. They're gonna be interesting. They've got a wooden base, so we're gonna see how those hold up. Yeah, that's the, <clears throat> that's the million dollar question. Is that wood gonna hold up to the shock or not? We'll find out. It might be a dusty round. Uh, <laughs> right. We're gonna be shooting them through dad's uh, rifle, 12 gauge, fully rifled. And we're going to see how these do. I, I... That's the kind of stuff that you, I'd always assign your dad, the weird stuff from Evan. <laughs> so it's kind of a, you're kind of carrying on a tradition. Well, he always made them, he always had a way to make them hit targets. So yeah, we'll see if amazing. I can do the same. I hope so. Yeah, this will be really interesting if these things work or not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm I am ready. Whenever you, just take your shot whenever you're ready. All right, dead center at the orange circle. Okay. Like a little high. Hey, that it hit it though. It hit, but it hit. It but there, hit. Was a, there was a lot of something flying behind it. Think so? It was crunchy. So, it, remark, we're at like 18 yards away, 17 or 18, I think we, we measured. I think it was 17 from oh, okay. the muzzle. For a weird experimental slug, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's like Pop Rocks. Mm -hmm. Spicy Pop Rocks. Probably sharp. That's not bad. All kinds of acrylic or whatever that's made out of. I'm, I'm assuming it's acrylic. <laughs> okay, I, I think we may need to move the target about five yards closer. Let's review the Kronos high-speed camera footage and see what happened. The dark crystal was traveling at Mach 1.07 as it traveled over the chronograph. Both accuracy and stability could have been better. The impact was enough to just shatter that acrylic nose and the wood itself. The wood didn't turn into splinters coming out of the barrel and he hit the target. I consider that kind of a win, but I'm an optimist. Now one oddity we see here is usually bullets will arc downwards. This one actually climbed, it developed lift somehow. The high speed camera definitely shows some oddities sometimes that would normally just go completely unnoticed. For this next test, we're gonna try one without that Sabo ring that I discussed earlier. We'll do one without the collar. Ooh, that one really missed. Okay, we got another weird one here, folks. It's traveling towards the right of the gummy bear and it passes so close to the gummy bear that its own shockwave kicks the tail out and makes the projectile steer to the left. Essentially, Danny somehow curved the bullet like in the movie Wanted. There you go. There you go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That, that, I don't know what happened on that first one, but this one was a little more accurate. Actually, I think that one right through there, Jeff. It went right through there. That's where it hit. It turned it, it got... sideways. You can see the track. It went 
right through that bear. We've got track here. That's an this old one. The, that's the same knurling as the little post inside, though. That's not it, because it was all in one piece. Oh, okay. Yeah. I understood there would be no knurling. And Greg's got his, oh, this is a traditional Jack O'Lantern. That's uh, Jack Skellington from oh. the Frozen movies. And you are pretty so. good. It came right through. All okay. The way. So he went through. So now we're going to try it through a smooth bore. Yep. Little Tony, right? Yeah. Shoot a little high and right. Because you don't. Because <laughs> you're not from California, that's why. Now, this one does have the Sabo collar or ring around it. And we got one of the best shots of the day with this one. Accuracy was a little better this time. Stability was still a little wonky, but, but better. The projectile went through about three and a half inches of gel and then it just disappeared. There was no signs of debris or anything inside the gel. I blame magic. Let's see how it does without any rifling at all. Hey! Now it seemed to work pretty well through a smooth bore, but the high speed camera tells us otherwise. It did exactly what I worried might happen, and that's the wood base just shattered. Now it didn't go through a choke, so we can't really blame that. I think we can just blame it on the inconsistency of wood. Some wood is stronger than others. Now we should have taken another shot with the smooth bore, but being a knucklehead, I decided to go back to the uh, rifled barrel. Okay, let's go back to the rifled barrel. Shoot in the iPhone 14 Max with 12 cameras on it. <laughs> There's a camera that takes a picture of itself. Yeah. That's how many cameras are on there? Yeah. They've been shooting a little right, so I'm gonna go off. Oh, yeah, I don't know if you can go by that, but you can try it. Yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. Oh yes. You, you're, you. Your instincts were good on that one. You guys probably remember when Danny used to eject the shell and try to catch it. And most of the time, he'd not catch it. So there you go. Oh, yes. Well, just like the last shot, we had complete wood breakage on this one. So it was just that acrylic nose that went flying down range. And luckily, it was accurate enough to hit that uh, tablet. And I had a lot of doubts he'd hit it at all because the target was a little bit smaller. But it gives you an idea how much energy even that small piece of plastic still has and what kind of damage it can do to that tablet. Yeah. Oh, that's some of the copper. It's not bad for, a, what do these things weigh, like 10 grams? I didn't even know that was metal. It's an iPhone, Jeff. 14. iPhone 14? Yeah, look how huge it is. It's all, all the kids are. You, you have to it. get pants with bigger pockets. I mean, <laughs> no, Jankos are back. Oh, okay. I don't know what those are. What are those? Right, Jankos. <laughs> Jeff, we're usually the cutting edge. Uh, of I never know really. what you, you guys are talking you about. Terminology out here. I just know it's janky. Janky. That's right. Janky and hello. <laughs> Sorry, you're breaking up a little. <laughs> yeah, you've you've broken up. <laughs> Man, look at that, it separated all the layers and squeezed itself right out of that little middle backing. Not bad, not bad. It went through. Super light. They're not really hauling ass or nothing. Jeff, you could have sold that LG tablet for $30. <laughs> right? On eBay. Now, now we, can, we, can, we, can, we can sign it and get yeah. a dollar for it on they eBay don't, now. They don't, they don't make those anymore. You should have shot. got to save shot. everything, right? Exactly. Should. Save, hoard everything. It might be worth something someday. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, this is, what do you call this masterpiece, Greg? That is a Super Bieber on shaving cream with a giant dove and a tactical gnome mounted on. Oh, of course. Mounted how, on how, how uh, could I not tomato know that? Right. What uh, other YouTube channel is going to give you that kind of variety? <laughs> We're all about okay. diversity here on Top Lighter Mouse. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm ready. Uh, well, your mom can Don't shave Don't rifled barrel. Okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. You hit something. I hit something. Wow, there's a tomato can blew up.
I, you have to explain to me what happened there. Jeff, what we found here on the ground when we walked up is Justin Bieber in his natural state, which is face down on the ground with his back covered in goo. Oh, okay. Look at that. What do you think? What, what are your thoughts? Would you uh, take those into war? Uh, no. <laughs> no, they're interesting. They're fun. And if you're hurting for something to send to somebody, they'll work. But <laughs> Would you take them into a rave in Barcelona? Yeah, pink, that's a good one. pink acrylic. So if you take it to a, like a World of Warcraft Maybe convention. Maybe you put an LED in it, Blinky. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> you do a pacifier? You're asking I for a lot. I can see it on Fortnite, though. Fortnite, okay. Yeah, I can see it on Fortnite. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can you explain? Neither do I. <laughs> I just want to thank all the, I guess you call them dad's fans. Yeah, yeah. All the support and all the love you guys I get. I get comments year. every day about him and, you know, and, um, it's good to see people are still thinking about him. It's good that you get nice comments. You know, there's a lot of horrible people out there. And when you get a nice comment from someone's heart like that, it's always nice. You know, it's like, All right, what a nice person. You know, this the Internet's not completely bad. Yeah, it brings a smile to this grumpy old face. So. <laughs> well, think about how rare it is, though, for any person, any average Joe off the street to have been seen by 1.4 million people and to still make a lasting impression long after he's gone. That's right. Oh, he's been seen by a lot more than that. Yeah, well, I mean, that gyrojet video, I think, has 5 million views on it. There were. you go. Maybe 1.4 million people watched it three times. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so that's it. Or the same right. person just forgot yeah. to turn off their, you know, auto I'm, I'm replay. Too. If you're ever in town again, hit me up and... Well, we'll have to get you up to Idaho to shoot some real guns. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Is Idaho... What's the state of Idaho? Is it full of Californians yet? Uh, not full, but most there's of too many, right? No, be. most of the Californians that are moving up there are, are liberty-minded. Oh, okay. They're, they're fleeing the bad policies here. It's only the ones that moved to Boise that vote the same way they did. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy, no, no, forget the Boise boys uh, oh, yeah. commenting. Boise, Boise, Boise. Boise. You got to say it right, otherwise they know you're not from in. in oh, yeah, and, you say and, it with a Z. So or, uh, when you go to. Uh, what are tips for if you're in California you're going to to Idaho or if you're just visiting? Yeah. Don't stop. Yeah, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't stop. Uh, if you have California plates, do you get rocks thrown at you? Uh, it's been known to happen. <laughs> it's, there's Make some people right. up there. Just tell them I'm not that kind of California. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make a right turn at Albuquerque. You know, it's it's fun. terrible up there. We got badgers and snow and. It's horrible. Lava, it's, yeah, it's volcanoes. That yeah, we got all kinds of volcanoes. Kill tens of thousands of people every <laughs> Big spring. part of the state looks like the moon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There's pirates and gang members and it's we got so gang there's, members. There's, yeah, so dangerous. stay in California. Uh, it's just safer. Yeah. yeah. Nevada's cool. I hear Nevada's cool. <laughs> what about Colorado? It's closer. You can go. Yeah, you smoke your pot in Colorado. <laughs> okay. That's it. Well, thanks again, and I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this. <laughs> it's not creepy at Big all. Hug. All right, Tall Flater crew, welcome back. And uh, we got something a little new for you here today. It's from uh, Dr. Chris. I hope you enjoyed this kind of a special episode on Tal Flater Mouse where we got to shoot with Danny's son, which was really special to me. I miss my friend Danny Sr. quite a bit, and it's hard to believe it's been a year since he passed away. One of Danny's last requests was to have people donate blood. And that's really important, and a lot of people have done that. Thank you so much for doing that, and we'll see you next time.